I believe this message will comfort you in these difficult times that we are living in. Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Eternal life everlasting life. You do not have to fear death. Look to eternal life through faith in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. I believe this message will comfort you and will give you hope in these very difficult and dark days that are upon this earth. Let's turn to John chapter 3 in the King James Bible, verse 16. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that so whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life, eternal life, the heavenly kingdom. The heavenly kingdom. Today we will explain what happens after a person dies. It's very important to understand this. What happens after death? Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Eternal life. What does this mean for us as Christians? And what does that mean to those who are not saved? Let's discuss this today. When a person dies in faith from Adam to Noah to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob to the Apostle Paul, people who died in faith all the way to us as born again Christian people in the true doctrine of Christ. When we die, our body, our physical body, goes into the ground. Sometimes the Bible refers to this as going to sleep. But the body, the physical body, is dead in the ground as a skeleton. Dead in the ground. To the dust. Our soul and spirit of those who die in faith goes up. Our soul and spirit, born again through faith in Jesus Christ, goes up into the sky, into the heavens, and we are with God. God is spirit. He is above. Hell is beneath. So when you die in Christ, born again through faith in Jesus Christ, your body goes in the ground. Your soul and the spirit goes up. You have peace. You have joy. You are with the spirit of God in heaven. You do have an understanding of what is happening on the earth. Revelation chapter 6, speaking of the souls, speaks of this. So you have to understand that we are in heaven. We have joy. We have peace. We're with God. We don't have the body that we're dealing with, of problems with the body. It's dead in the ground. We're our soul and a spirit saved through faith in heaven, the sky, with God. Those people who are not born again through faith in Jesus Christ 
go down. It says hell is beneath. I believe that hell is a large cavern or cave below the earth, far below. That when someone who dies without Jesus Christ, their soul and spirit goes down through the ground into this cavern, this cave, hell. There is darkness. There is separation from God. There is terrible sorrow, sadness, terrible things, fear. And there is a consciousness that you are in hell, darkness, totally separated from God. There are, there is evil down there. Also, there's evil things going on down there. Satan is not in hell, but it's very possible that there are evil spirits and things down there now. Satan, the devil, is not there yet. In fact, he's on earth. He's on earth and in the sky creating havoc right now. So you're born again through faith in Jesus. Your soul, spirit are up in joy and peace with the spirit of God. You die without being born again. You're not in faith. You go to hell. There's weeping and gnashing of teeth. It's terrible. Torment. And you're conscious of what is going on. The soul and spirit does not sleep. It does not die. It is always awake. It is always conscious. Even when you are in your bed, sleeping at night, you're dreaming, you're thinking. Things are going on. You're, you're, the body sleeps in the dirt, dead. Now, there will come a time that the dead in Christ will rise. Those who are alive and remain at the coming of the Lord will rise after those who are asleep, dead in the ground. That means the body will be raised. That dust of the earth will rise and that new body will be given to you. Your soul and spirit are put in to that new body. You will receive a new body. This is very important. Very few people understand or even know this. Remember Jesus Christ. He died on the cross, he was buried, and he rose from the dead. Jesus' bones are not in the ground in Jerusalem. He's the first fruits. He is the resurrection and the life. Many people have died and have been raised to life. Jesus rose people from the dead, but they were raised in the same body. They weren't given a new body. In fact, they then died again, possibly of old age, such as Lazarus. Okay, he, he, he was raised, but then he would have died again. Jesus Christ, Lazarus' bones are in the ground. Okay, Noah's bones are in the ground. Adam's bones are in the ground. Jesus' bones are not in the ground. They were raised. He was given that new glorified body and then he returned and he was with his disciples. The disciples were mortal man. Jesus Christ was glorified in that new perfected body after the death and resurrection. We as born again people through faith in Jesus, we will be raised given a new perfect body that will never die, no sickness, perfect body, and the soul and spirit will go into that body and we will rule and reign for 1,000 years on this earth. Let's explain that. Let's go to Revelation. So there is going, I'm going to go through this somewhat quickly. So you can get the overall, the overview of this. We know in part. We don't know every detail, but we know some. There will be terrible tribulations, wars, famines, plagues, which are coming quickly. 
we as Christians who are alive will go through extreme tribulation, troubles, wars, famines, disease. We always have gone through this. And in the end, we're going to go through the big one, the beginning of sorrows, the end times. We'll go through the tribulation. Then the Lord takes us. He returns. He takes us up. Then on that same day, the wrath of God is poured. Just like in the day of Noah, the day of Lot, Sodom and Gomorrah. In one day, the people are saved and also destroyed. Wrath comes. After that, the Armageddon War, where the kings of the earth, the beasts, armies, all of this, they're destroyed. But through this wrath and tribulation, mortal man will live who was not born again at that time. You're good person, you know, not born again, but a good person, a survivalist type, maybe some religious types who weren't born again, but they were decent people. They survived the wrath of God and they go in to the 1,000 years as mortal man. We have been given a new body. And we rule and reign with Jesus Christ for 1,000 years on this earth. We as glorified, others as mortal man. And the Bible speaks a lot about this, many verses in Isaiah regarding this great time of peace where everybody will know Jesus, where animals such as lions and bears will be tame Children will play with what was once a, 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 a predator type animal. Animals will be tame. They won't be predators. There will be peace and knowledge of God will fill the earth. This is that 1,000 year time period where Jesus Christ is ruling and reigning this earth over his people. We are glorified with him, but there is mortal man who survived all the tribulation and wrath of God and goes into the 1,000 years as mortal men. We are ruling and reigning over them. Remember Jesus Christ glorified body. He was with his mortal disciples of that time. It will be the same thing us glorified and mortal men will be on the earth. We will be teaching them and ruling over them with a rod of iron where God's government and his laws are on the earth. Go to Revelation chapter 20 verse 4. Revelation 20 verse 4. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. A thousand year time period is given to us here in Revelation 20. In the book of Revelation chapter 2, these are very mature teachings, but you have to know this because it will give you great hope and understanding for God's plan of your eternal life. This is the 1,000 years before the new heaven, the new earth. The 1,000 years is not the new earth. The new earth comes after the 1,000 years. In fact, the new earth, we believe, is this current earth made new, restored back to the Garden of Eden, just like the bones in the ground are made a new body. Just like we are born again, we're made new. This current earth will become new. This holy city, New Jerusalem, will come down and we will live in that Israelite city. Revelation chapter 2, verse 26, Jesus said, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. We will be ruling. Verse 27, Jesus said, And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my Father. We as the born again 
saints are given new bodies, we rule and reign during the 1,000 years over the mortal people who I believe will be the lost tribes of Israel also as we are, but they were rebellious. They were disobedient. They weren't born again through faith. So they go into that 1,000 years as mortal men. We as glorified saints rule over them with a rod of iron. During this time period, Satan is bound. He is in prison. You can read about that in Revelation. So these evil spirits of, of, uh, of evil and lies are not taking place during the 1,000 years, but mortal man still has his flesh, his sin nature, which came from Adam. We as glorified saints don't, but the mortal man will. So there will be a time period after the Armageddon War where all the, you know, Edomite, Canaanite, you know, uh, synagogue of Satan, beasts of the earth, all of them, they're destroyed. But through that, a people will live. These survivalist, good people types, maybe some caught in false denominations, they will live into that 1,000 years as mortal man. We as glorified saints will rule over them with a rod of iron. What law will be there? The Bible says the law of God is perfect. It's very likely that Moses' law will be instituted because that's the law of God, not the law of Moses. It is the law of God given to Moses on Sinai will be instituted during that 1,000-year reign. Obviously not animal sacrifices, Levitical priesthood. These sort of things will not take place. Jesus fulfilled this, but civil Laws of society will be enforced to be obedient, good, proper people following the law of God. And we will rule these people with a rod of iron that they, if they do not live obedient to the word of God, they are beaten and disciplined. After the 1,000 years, there is another war. Gog and Magog war is after. There's the Armageddon war before the 1,000 years. Gog and Magog war after the 1,000 years when Satan is released. And then some people go back into disobedience. It seems like during the 1,000 years, people will also begin to live longer. The mortal one will also begin to live longer. It appears there'll be some type of change in genetics that God will do to the animals where they're not eating meat, they're tame, and also man begins to live longer. I believe this is the curse being removed from the earth, the air, the oxygen, the water, as it was in the Garden of Eden, will possibly be like coming back to that in that 1,000 years, and people are beginning to live longer, yet they will live and die. They will get married and have children. People will be born. In this 1,000 years, we're glorified as saints. We're not. We are, we're, there's no marriage for the saints. There's no uh, for the glorified. We're just... We are as the angels. We're ruling and reigning. We're given new bodies. But the mortal man who survives the wrath will continue a life in the 1,000 years. We will rule over them. After that, there will be war. Gog and Magog war. Satan is released. After this, there will be a time of judgment where all the dead are raised and a whole bunch of things who were not saved. The lake of fire thrown into the lake of fire. Hell is different than the lake of fire. Just like heaven is different than the new earth, the new Jerusalem. Heaven now, you do not have a new body. Your soul and spirit is in heaven. There will be a come a time when Jesus returns, you're given a new body. That new body will rule and reign for 1,000 years. After that, the new heaven, the new earth, this current earth, we believe, restored, and then the holy new Jerusalem comes down. Revelation chapter 21, verse 1, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down. It's this earth restored, made new, the new earth, 
and then the holy city, New Jerusalem, comes down and is on that restored new earth, and we live in the New Jerusalem, the Israelite city, in a new body. Now, I want to say this. Some of this may sound, wow, that seems very uh, hard to understand. Well, so does, uh, you know, a sexual relation between husband and wife and a child forming in the womb and a baby being born. I mean, to explain that to someone who had never heard about it would seem very hard to understand also. Everything that I'm saying to you will happen. Have faith. Die in faith faith, you will receive eternal life. You'll be given a new body. The, the death is nothing of this body. You'll be given a new body. You will rule and reign for a thousand years. The information that you're studying now in the Bible will stay with you and you will be teaching mortal men the Bible and truth. Truth will continue forever. Love and faith and truth and peace will continue. We'll be teaching mortal man truth from the Bible. So the Bible study, this is very important, the Bible study that you are doing now will continue with you forever. So keep studying. Even if you're old, keep going. It will stay with your soul into your new body. The word of God, Jesus Christ said, heaven and earth will pass away. My words will never pass away. We will be studying and loving and reading and enjoying the Bible forever, except there will be a few different things. Jesus himself will be teaching you. You'll be with Jesus one-on-one. -on -one. The Father, yes, the Father is there with us. Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, angels, and all the people of God, Noah himself, in a new body, you and Noah will be speaking about the flood. Jesus Christ will be explaining to you the crucifixion and how he rose from the dead. The people you're reading about in the Bibles will actually be teaching you the Bible, but we'll all have jobs and things we're doing during that 1,000 years. So keep studying your Bible. It's very, very important. In closing, let us turn to the book of John. Let's go to John chapter 6, verse 47. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. You will live forever. Do not fear this death of the physical body. Just look to Jesus. Today is the day of salvation. You do not have to be condemned to hell, followed by the lake of fire. You can go to heaven. You can rule and reign with Jesus Christ for 1,000 years. You can live for eternity in the new Jerusalem, a place of great peace and joy and love forever. Today is the day of salvation. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today. Believe that he died on the cross, that he was buried, that on the third day he rose from the dead, that he is the Son of God, the Lamb of God, the sacrifice for our sins, the one that has given us eternal life, that we do not have to fear death. We will pass from death unto life. God has an amazing plan for our eternities. We will live and rule and reign with Jesus Christ. We will see and be with family members again. Those of us who die in faith or who are alive at his coming and are caught up. We will live and see and be with our family members again. Comfort yourselves with these words. We will be with our family members, our loved ones who died in faith. We will be with them, but the relationship will be so much better. So much better 
than the relationships we have here on earth. We will have a new body. We'll be freed from sin and death and all of these things. What an amazing relationship we'll have with our loved ones. We will see them again and be with them in new bodies. Comfort one another with these words. God has a great plan. The regeneration of the body. What an amazing plan God has. And you will only experience that through being born again through faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. 